hello everyone so in the last video we have seen how to prepare the protein and now this in this video we will going to see how to uh, prepare your ligand in order to perform the molecular docking so in this video we will see how we are going to prepare our ligand so there are several steps which is involved in uh, pro in, in preparation of uh, uh, in preparation of protein so, uh, and ligand. So uh, in the ligand preparation, first thing that you will have to do, you will have to uh, draw your ligand in the game draw. So in the, in the many cases, like uh, uh, we will have to draw our ligand. In case your ligand is already as the standard compound, so you can download that particular ligand from the, uh, the standard uh, repository, that is the pub game then zinc so there are lots of uh, repository which is available online so if, you, if you're selecting any standard compound and you're going to perform the molecular docking so you can select uh, or you can download that particular ligand or download the mole file or you can directly download the hdf file from the uh, those repository so in this case if you have you know the newly uh, a newly developed molecule or the uh, any uh, any ligand that is you know you have been discovered or the derivatives so the first thing that you will have to do is that you will have to uh, you know draw that particular ligand in, in the came draw so if you see in this particular example we already have drawn one uh, ligand in a came draw so once you draw then you will have to convert this 2D structure into the 3D conformation structure. So to convert this 2D structure of uh, ligand of choice into the uh, 3D conformation, for that I will going to use the KMDRAW software, which is the part of KMDRAW package. So I have, you know, if you see, I have already installed the KMDRAW Professional 16 Plus version for me. So once we, when I've installed this, ultimately the KM3 automatically get installed. If it's not installed in your system, you can directly get it, download it, and you can install this particular tool. So uh, once you open the KMDRAW 3D, the first thing, copy the structure of that particular ligand of choice, then paste it into the uh, came 3d so you can just right click and paste that particular structure of uh, uh, your ligand in the in the came 3d so if you see uh, the structure is uh, automatically get converted into the 3d conformation and at the right side of the panel the came draw actual 2d structure is visible to me the next part the structure is somehow, you know, the rigid, you know, so we will have to minimize some energy from this particular structure. So in order to do that, you will have to click on MM2 option, which is the top of the, uh, in, in, in middle of that particular came draw. So once you click on, so automatically the energy minimization process has been started at the bottom of. So it might take few seconds or the few minutes to complete the process. Once the energy minimization has been uh, get it, so you will get it the ligand energy. Uh, so the ligand energy is also needed for some publication. So you can, uh, once the result has been shown over here, you can copy that particular ligand energy value in your uh, word file or any uh, any other data that where you are going to be save this particular details so ligand energy is also the one of the thing because uh, after that you will going to be convert the structure into the hdf and after that you will not able to save that uh, again to get it so again you will have to perform the same process again to uh, get the ligand energy so it's, it's, it's still running so we'll just have to wait for a few seconds to uh, finish the the minimization of energy process so uh, till the time that is that uh, the energy minimization process has been going on we will uh, just wanted to be mentioned that like there was another one software that actually needed to uh, in addition to the existing so uh, is the existing software that we have discussed in the last video we needed the another one software that is the uh, open bubble software in order to uh, convert some file format into the specified format so for the conversion of uh, those files we needed this particular software to convert the ESDF into the pdp or the uh, 
or some other format that we wanted to do, we wanted to be uh, converted. So just wait for the few seconds. The energy minimization process has been still running. Okay, so see the energy minimization has been ended. So if you see the total energy, so these are the value that you will have to copy and paste it into the your uh, your data. So uh, this is how we have converted our two D molecule into the three D regimen. Okay, okay. So this is how uh, we have done it. So in this case, if you see our protein will be the flexible and uh, sorry our ligand will be the flexible and our protein structure will be the rigid so only the poses of or confirmation of our uh, ligand of choice will be changed according to the uh, how how that will going to be fit into the the protein that we have been selected so now the second step that we i'm going to save this particular 3d conformation so go to the file click on save as select the ESDF so automatically the ESDF format has been selected so now I will name it as a ligand so ligand.esdf file has been saved over here okay so uh, go to the location where you have all sa saved all this particular data okay so the location is not correct let me save it again Okay, so go to the, I'm going to save it over here. Okay, so if you see in the location, uh, we have already prepared our protein. We have our ligand in .hdp for HD, uh, .hdf format, that is the 3D confirmation. So uh, now over here, we needed the open bubble to, to convert this particular ligand file uh, into the uh, EA PDB format, protein data bank format. So because uh, to perform the actual molecular docking, we needed both our protein and both our ligand in PDB format, that is the protein data bank format. So we have already have our protein in protein data bank format. The ligand that we have saved, which is in uh, which is in the HD, HDF format. So I'm just going to convert this particular .hdf file into the PDB format. That's why I needed the open bubble software. So first of all, I will going to select over here as a HDF format, which is my input. So select the HDF format. This is my input actually. Now I will select that particular compound, which is in dot hdf format so this is the protein sorry this is the ligand that i have been selected as a dot hdf format now uh, now my output will be the protein data bank format and select the location where you actually want to uh, save that particular uh, your ligand so i'm going to name it as a ligand we're going to ligand one so that will be the unique name will be generated over here. So uh, I have selected the location. Now the one another option that you will have to select. Click just mark as as a generate 3D coordinates. So this is the option that you will have to be selected over here. After that, click on the convert. So once you click on the convert, if you see automatically the HDF format has been converted into the dot .pdb format, and uh, then if you go to the location one if you see ligand one which is ultimate which is get converted into the dot pdb format so uh, we have our protein and ligand which is in the dot uh, pdb format so in in the next video we will going to see how to perform the actual molecular docking using the autodoc vena and so thank you for watching this video so don't forget to like, subscribe and share. So thank you.